Nausa Paros, Greece. So some important information for you guys to know, plus just a beautiful tour of this amazing Greek town on the island of Paros. And before we begin, please subscribe down below, give the video a thumbs up because it absolutely helps the channel and hit the bell so you can get notified every time I post up a new video during my six months travel here in Greece. And the first thing that I wanted to show you guys was exactly where you would take the bus and where the bus would drop you off. If you do not have a car, there is a bus system all throughout the island that can get you places. The first time I came here, I did not rent a car and I was still able to get to Nausa and other amazing parts of the island. This is what the bus station at Nausa looks like. It is in the by the main entrance of Nausa and right at the box office is where you would get all the information that you need. The schedules are there and you can purchase your tickets there. And um, something to note is that at every um, town that you will be at in Paros, there is bus stops. So if you are in Trios, if you are in Piso Livadi, um, Parikya, literally everywhere there is bus stops. So you take the bus from wherever you are and it will take you directly there. Or if you're in Nausa, that is where you need to go to take the bus um, to somewhere else. Part of the island, excuse me. So now we are just taking the road straight in to Nausa from the bus station. So as soon as you get off the bus, you would just go towards the right and you would take this road all the way down. If you did have a car, then that's a different scenario. Um, but definitely, uh, you know, this is the way into Nausa. And before we get too deep into the video, make sure you stay all the way until the end as there is more important information coming up. And also, I just started doing cash giveaways. So make sure you stay all the way until the end so you can get the instructions on how you can participate in the cash giveaways that I am doing here on my YouTube channel for all of my YouTube subscribers. And another thing I want to mention really quickly is um, that this video was shot in the beginning of this season and I had gotten here very early in the morning and I was wearing a turtleneck shirt. Obviously, you could see from the beginning of the video. Um, so I don't want you to think that Paros is cold or anything. Right now, all of the islands are so, so hot. Um, and it's only, you know, May at this point. But I just wanted to point that out because as I'm sitting here just kind of editing everything, I'm like, why am I wearing a turtleneck? Which let me tell you, I got here around like 8 a.m. By not even before 10 a.m., I was already removing the turtleneck. Thank God I had come prepared. You know, I just had a chill in the morning. After I lived in Mexico for two years, I have become a tropical flower. So even the slightest little chill in the air, I'm putting on sweaters and turtlenecks. <laughs> Um, but do not worry because it is not cold at all in Baros and by May it is beautiful and people are swimming even before then. So I just wanted to point that out as I was sitting here thinking to myself that a lot of people may notice that and be trying to figure out what the deal is with that. So do not worry. It is beautiful summertime in Paros and the swimming and stuff starts from May. It's just my own personal preference of um, staying warm. But Paros' weather all year round is just perfect. Maybe it's because the island is perfect. 
and it really is just one of my absolute favorite islands if you have not checked out the playlist for paros definitely do that nausa has to be one of my favorite towns as is for so many it has the area where it is just quaint and small and has just the real traditional Kiklades feel to where you are in those narrow cobblestone streets with the beautiful white buildings all around you. Absolutely just so, so beautiful. And then having just it be seaside having the old fort there there is just so much history here it's absolutely beautiful and then just seeing all of the locals here the local fishermen and everything else it's just really absolutely a sight to see real traditional greek seaside town village and it just it's just absolutely beautiful the restaurants the cafes just everything about Nausa is really just so beautiful and very, very happening. There's always something going on. Easter here, Greek Easter was crazy. I absolutely loved it. People dancing on tables. It was an all day festival. It was just absolutely amazing. Definitely an experience that I am happy I was here for. One thing that I do want to mention as I have gotten messages asking about the beaches in Nausa. So in actual Nausa, where we are right now, there is no real beach that you can go and swim at. But there is a lot of beautiful beaches more on the outskirts. I have videos for those as well. Again, so make sure that you're checking out that playlist. Um, and there is still so much more content coming from for Baros. So make sure that you're also subscribed to the channel. So you can definitely get the updates when those videos come out so you can plan your itinerary for bottles here in Greece. But if you have any specific questions, comment down below. I'm absolutely happy to help you guys out. I always get messages on my Instagram, people asking, you know, their specific questions. And I'm always happy to answer if I have an answer for you. I am a Greek, you know, I travel throughout Greece, but every island still, you know, has its own unique charm and its own things about it that, you know, I, I may know and I may not know, but I'm always here to try to help out as much as possible. I feel like maybe I have a little bit more of... I'm an advantage because I am Greek, so I am definitely always um, happy to help out when you guys are, you know, just trying to gather information to plan your Greece vacation for sure. I understand how stressful it can be, you know, just planning travel and then especially to a country that you've, um, you know, never been to. Another thing that I want to say um, you know, because I hear this a lot is people worrying about how they would communicate. And everywhere you go in Greece, everyone speaks English. It is very, very seldom for you to be in a situation where, you know, there's not at least one single person that speaks English that would be able to help you. So definitely do not worry about that at all. In Europe, um, nowadays, people and children are mandated to start learning English from basically what we would consider like kindergarten or first grade in the United States. So everyone, for the most part, already does speak English. So you definitely don't have to worry or feel uncomfortable about that. That definitely is one thing, um, you know, that it kind of ease your mind in a sense um, if it does help you out at all so definitely don't um, worry about that but in regards to just you know general questions or things that you feel like you would like to know before your trip absolutely comment down below
One thing to note, if you do have a car, you do have places to park. After a certain time, there's really not that much street parking unless you're okay to walk, which around here everyone is. Um, but if not, there is parking garages as well. I don't want to say garages. I guess lots is a better word. Sorry, still in New York mode with the garages. Um, but so definitely you could go to a lot. But the thing that I want to say is that it is a fee. So the closer you get into the center of Nausa, the more expensive it's going to be. So in the beginning of the, um, you know, kind of area to get into Nausa, it's eight euro. But the closer you get toward the center, I had paid 10 euro on Easter Sunday. So, um, you know, but depending how long you go for or with how many people you're with, that might not necessarily be too much, which I don't think, especially if you're spending the entire day here. All right, so let's talk about giveaway time. So I started doing these cash giveaways as I really wanted to just connect with you guys more, build a stronger community, and also as a thank you for being here with me as my subscribers. So the way that you would participate is by making sure you are a subscriber here on YouTube, on my channel, Rula Travels. And then you are going to share this video that you are watching right now with friends, with a family member, the person that you want to come explore Paros Greece with. And after that, you are going to make your way to my Instagram page. So the reason that you are going to go onto my Instagram page is that is where I will be announcing the winners and also where I will be giving the instructions on how to apply once the new giveaway is set to start. So make sure that you head on over to my new Instagram page and you give it a follow and pay attention to my stories so you can get in on these cash giveaways. I'm super excited to get this going and I will be using an automated um, system online through a website so everything is totally fair and it also gives you the option to apply multiple multiple times to multiple giveaways so you can be a winner every single time as this is completely, um, you know, just a fair, unanimous method that I am going to be doing online. So definitely make sure you're a subscriber, you share, and you head on over to my Instagram so that way you can follow for the next cash giveaway. I really hope you enjoyed this video of Nausa in Baros. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for being here with me.